Happy Monday. And happy Monday from my twin behind me as well. As you know, I typically make dinner on Tuesdays, but this week I'm making dinner tonight on Monday night, and we're doing burrito bowls. I have already prepped some stuff downstairs, but I'm gonna start cutting up some of like the lettuce, the tomato, and stuff to go in it. I've never made these specific types of burrito bowls before, so we'll see how it goes, but can't be too difficult. I'm just basically doing ground chicken with some seasoning, and then people can put like whatever they want, like lettuce, tomato, cheese, salsa, um, avocado, and I forget what else I had, but that'll all go on top of rice, obviously, because that's how a burrito bowl works. So I'm gonna head downstairs and continue making the burrito bowl. bowls were a success and the best part is I have lunch for tomorrow now happy Tuesday it's about lunchtime I went to the gym earlier and I've been working all day but I didn't feel the need really to pick up the camera at all but I am making my lunch now so I figured I would show you a little more of what was in those burrito bowls that I made last night because they're super easy and really good to meal prep. The most important thing, and I've made this mistake before, which is why I'm saying it now, is to, when you put the stuff away, make sure you separate the hot stuff from the cold stuff. And what I mean is like the rice, the beans, the corn, the chicken or whatever meat you use or tofu, all that stuff is gonna be heated up. So that stuff can go together in a container if you want, or you can put it in all separate ones. But you want to make sure you leave like the salsa, the lettuce, avocado, um, pico de gallo, tomato, any of that stuff that's cold. You want to keep it separate because you don't want to heat that stuff up in the microwave. It will kind of taste gross, like the lettuce will wilt and everything. So make sure you separate the stuff out. So in this container, it kind of looks like dog food, but that's actually ground chicken that's been seasoned. The corn and the beans and then underneath is like some Spanish rice and I'm just going to heat this up in the microwave and then I'll add in all of my extra stuff after I heat it up. So in here the avocado looks a little bit brown but still fine um, is the avocado. I've got olives, I've got tomatoes, onions, and there's lettuce down the bottom and then I also saved a little bit of lime. I added some of the veggies and now I'm going to add some salsa, a little bit of lime, and then it's good to go. Super easy. Yum. Hello vlog. I am now headed out to get some dinner with Alex. Y'all know Alex. And as I'm filming this, I realized I wear this shirt way too often, but I'm like such an outfit repeater. I wear like this shirt and then like one, two, three, four, five or six other tops over and over and over again. I am not one of those people that like, I just wore that the other day. Or like last week, I can't wear it now. Like if you go to my Instagram, you will definitely find like duplicate pictures with the same outfits or like the same shirts. And as I was vlogging, I just noticed that. But yes, I wear the shirt all the time. And one other thing I actually wanted to mention about my outfit is this little bracelet I just rediscovered in my jewelry box. I like forgot that my jewelry box has like a drawer right here. And I just thought about this bracelet and I was like, where did that go? And I couldn't figure it out. And then I was like, oh, I forgot this drawer was here. So I put it on, but me and Fallon, Jesse and Alex, who you've seen in all these videos have matching ones because I got us all these for Christmas one year. Actually the year that I lived in New York, I bought them. Um, so I thought I would wear it. It's very cute and it goes with my watch. Enough about my outfit though. Alex is on her way to pick me up and then we're heading out, but I'll probably switch to phone cam because I don't feel like bringing a separate camera with me. So gotta leave this camera here. Sorry, camera. 
Excuse me, are you Alex? Um, no. I just want to just want to make sure I'm getting in the right Uber. Um, it's not. I couldn't anyway. Okay. Hello, I haven't vlogged anything the past two days, um, but I figured I would pick up the camera now because I wanted to show you a little haul. My mom and I went to a couple stores tonight and I picked up a couple things so I figured I would show you considering I haven't vlogged anything since Tuesday and it is now Thursday so I figured I would pop on the camera and show you what I got up to today which was a little bit of shopping. Please ignore the awkwardness of this angle you are currently propped up on. A tissue box and a couple of books actually. I'll just show you. Lazy girl's tripod. We went into DSW and I got a pair of boots. Um, I actually got them for like $15 off I think because I had a $10 off coupon and then my mom had a $5 off coupon that she gave me. But I just got, so I wanted, really wanted some over the knee boots, but I have the problem where like, I have really skinny stick toothpick legs. So it's hard to find ones that have like this part that are like skinny enough for my legs. Otherwise it just looks like my legs are swimming in them. This one has ties on the back, so that's nice. And I really wanted a pair that were relatively flat. So this is exactly what I wanted. They did have some with a heel and I did kind of like the way it looked, but the side of the shoe was like digging into my ankle. It just felt really uncomfortable. And I'm just like a flat shoe kind of girl. So I'm lucky I found these. I might wear them Saturday. So you'll potentially see what they look like on then. And then I have a gift card. I had a gift card for Old Navy, so I got a very simple ring. Um, it's just like, I don't even know how to describe it. Like a bunch of little balls, it looks like almost, or like, not beads, because it's made out of silver, but I don't know how to describe it. You can see it with your own eyeballs. And then I also got a pair of earrings. And if you know anything about me, you know that I never ever change my earrings, but I want to make an effort to actually change them out every once in a while. Cause I always wear just like the two studs cause I have this and this piercing. And I thought these were cool. So I figured I would get them and try them. I'm gonna try them on now. I haven't tried them on yet. My one main thing with earrings is that they have to have some form of a stud. So like, basically I like the hole to be covered up, if that makes sense. So like these are like technically like dangly earrings or whatever, but they have a stud. So I don't mind wearing like long dangly earrings as long as they have some kind of stud to cover up the hole. I don't like the ones that are just like a hook that goes through, if that makes sense, or like hoops. I like the way they look on other people. For some reason, I just feel like because I always wear studs when I don't have them, anything that covers the hole, I feel like I'm like naked or something, I don't know. Oh, it's two pieces. Interesting. So you could wear them just as like little tiny studs or you could add this little piece on to the bottom. I wonder if I can add these to my current earrings because these ones are real diamonds, let's see. That would be even better. It's like an earring upgrade. Yeah, I can, wow. Okay, let's see. That's the end of my haul anyway, so I'm gonna take you over to the mirror so that I can actually try these on. I'm aware the lighting over here is awful, but nothing I can do about it at the moment. Let's see if I can get this on my ear. Hmm. This is tricky, you guys. Don't know if I did that right. Okay, it's on. I can't decide how I feel about it. I don't know if I like it with another diamond stud here. Or like maybe this diamond is just too big. So I'm gonna try it with the diamond. So this is my diamond. I'm gonna try it with the diamond that it comes with, like the fake one. I think that like, looks probably better. I don't know. I'll have to play around with it and see, but those are the things that I bought today. Hello. Happy Friday. 
Also, happy Valentine's Day. I'm not necessarily someone who celebrates Valentine's Day. One, because I'm single. And two, because I just kind of don't consider it a real holiday. And not like, oh my god, I'm single, Valentine's Day sucks. But more like, I don't get a day off from work for it, so I don't really consider it a, consider it a real holiday. And I don't feel like there's any real historical significance for the day, so that deems it a non-holiday to me. But I will say it was a lot more fun as a kid. I don't know if you guys remember, like, the week leading up to Valentine's Day, you would, like, make your mailbox, and then you would buy Valentine's, usually store-bought ones, um, for, like, your favorite shows, like, I, or favorite toys or whatever. Like, I did Barbie one year. And the best part was that you would do all your best friends first, so you could make sure that they got all of, like, your favorite Valentine cards. And then you would just use the leftovers for all those kids in your class that your teacher, like, forced you to make cards for because, like, you don't have to make one for everybody or whatever. Like, some are always bigger than others, so you're like, okay, my bestest best friend has to have the biggest one, and then, like, my other best friends get these big ones, and then, like, these people I don't really like, the small ones. You guys know how it is. But anyways, enough of my Valentine's Day rant. I'm going over to my friend Fallon's house, and I think we're gonna order some food, hang out, probably watch a movie and there's gonna be some ice cream cake. We're just doing a chill night in. I realized I did not vlog anything else yesterday, but I did go to Fallon's house and Alex and Jesse were there also. We had Red Robin, we had ice cream cake. We also watched the sequel to To All the Boys I've Loved Before, which is called P.S. I Still Love You, I think. And then we ended up watching a bunch of episodes of A Typical, really good show if you've never seen it. I think I've talked about it before on the vlog. But yeah, I never pulled out the camera just because like we were just chilling and hanging out. But I pulled out the camera for two reasons. One, I'm heading out to Hibachi with some friends. So that'll be fun. There's a big group of us going. I will do my best to vlog a few clips, but can't guarantee that I will vlog too, too much just because I don't like to stick the camera in people's faces. A lot of people don't really like to be on camera, so try to be respectful of that. But I wanted to show you those boots that I bought because I'm gonna wear them. Can you even see them? I don't know. Can you see them? Maybe it's better. I put the camera down here. Here they are. They are just over the knee boots. I like that they have these little ties in the back because that makes them adjustable slightly. Um, I have like toothpick legs, so need them to be very adjustable. Um, again, this is a wide angle lens camera, so this might look kind of weird, but that's what they look like. I'm just wearing them with a pair of jeans. And then I have on this like mock neck, I think that's what it's called, when it's like not quite a turtleneck, like a higher neck line. And oh, I'm also wearing this earring thingy that I got the other day. I decided to wear it with my normal diamonds and I actually like the way it looks. At first I wasn't so keen on it, but after I put it on again today, I like it. I'm also gonna throw on my leather jacket and then I'll head out. But before I do that, the other thing that I want to talk about, I ordered some stuff on Amazon. One of those things being a micro SD card for another vlog camera that my friends Alex Fallon and Jesse got me for my birthday, which was in June. And I haven't been able to use it because I didn't have the right memory card for it. Like I don't have any micro SD cards. And I hadn't, every time I would put an Amazon order and I would forget to put it in my card. But I finally remembered and I made an Amazon order. And there was some other stuff in there too, let's see. This was all in one order. I ordered a book. I ordered a pair of earrings that I was planning to wear with another gold pair of earrings that I got recently, a micro SD card, like I said, a micro SD card reader, and a tripod for my phone so that I can use that like for live streams for TV Co. But I got a thing saying that my package was undeliverable. So I'm like, that's weird. So I looked at it and it basically said that it was sent to the wrong carrier facility or something. So basically they were sending the package back and I would just get a refund. So I was like, huh, that's really weird. I've never had that happen before. And just now I'm looking again. And meanwhile, I placed this order on February 9th that is now February 15th. Now it says, rather than undeliverable, it says returning. Unfortunately, due to a shipping issue, your package was returned to Amazon. We are issuing a free replacement and you will get a shipment confirmation email when the package ships. In case a replacement is not possible, we will issue a full refund and inform you via email. 
So I don't know how long it's gonna be before I get this package, but I am not happy about that. The book actually did come. Like the book came pretty quick. It was delivered on Wednesday. And this one was supposed to be delivered on Friday. And then I got that thing saying it was undeliverable and that they were gonna give me a refund. But now it's saying I might actually get my package, but if they can't get me my package, they're gonna give me a refund. So I don't know when I'll be getting that stuff, but I am crossing my fingers. And it's just funny because my friends were always like, why haven't you tried that camera we got you? And I just like kept forgetting and forgetting and forgetting to get the SD card for it because I do have this camera. So it's not like I didn't have a camera to use. And then the time I of course remember to get it into my cart and order it, this happens. So might be a while before I try out that camera, but hopefully before my next birthday. That's all I wanted to come on here and complain about. Um, I am gonna go pick up a couple of my friends and head to Hibachi. Say hi to the vlog. Cassie. <laughs> I caught you mid-bite. I'm currently editing this vlog and I'm interrupting just to say that this is the most awfully filmed clip ever. I don't even know if awfully is the word, but it is now. I fully cut out Christina. It's just her hand waving. And I fully got Cassie mid-bite in this clip. So apologies for my awful videography skills, you guys. But yeah, I just wanted to put this clip in here. Just a really poor job of filming on my part. Anyways, continue. Roll the clip. Say hi to the vlog. Cassie. <laughs> I caught you mid-bite. Hello again. It's always me. Watch your eyebrows. I can't. I was just about to start next week's, week's vlog and then I remembered that I totally kind of failed on the end of this week's vlog. Just to update you, I don't remember what the last thing I filmed was. I think Saturday the last was the last time I filmed. We were at Hibachi and then Sunday was mostly just like a chill day. I did a bunch of like stuff to get like all my tax documents ready for my tax guy, so much fun. The only other thing I did was went out to dinner with the fam, same restaurant we always go to. And that was pretty much it. So I figured I would just pop in and end the vlog here. I apologize that I kind of failed at it, but don't be surprised when you see me at the start of Monday's vlog looking exactly the same because I'm about to end this clip and then start a new one for next week's vlog. Before you go, make sure you leave a comment, like this video, turn on your post notifications, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye!